little over a week's time, Club of Legends says will be shattered as teammates go head-to-head -head in the State of Origin opener. And this morning, the Blues and Maroons will name their teams. It's upon us, folks. Lara Vella is outside the Blues Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, Chom in here. Nah, day one in camp, very you guys up. And boys get some media done, headshots. Yeah, medical is still gotta do it, tick it off before we uh, get into the busy stuff. <laughs> The new me back with the OU The dog always find his way back home and it's so true I feel good bro, pretty confident um, Yeah, pretty um, pretty excited too, got a great team Paper, can't wait to get on the field and train We're down after that's our win, uh, where Teddy grew up, we're down at the local pub here, come down to see the community, see the kids and uh, yeah, everyone's been welcoming and uh, it's been good to start, it's been good. Oh, it's been good. Bunch of words, good country stuff, and everyone's enjoying it so far. We've been ready to get for a couple of hours now, but um, it's always it's always hectic. But we're really enjoying it at the moment, and uh, can't wait for the next couple of days. We're here at uh, Danny Wool and Maloo. This is called Street Medic, Street Side Medic. So this is an opportunity for people um, to come along and what they do is they can get any sort of medical attention and what they do is just allow anyone off the street they don't need ID to come in and just see the things that normally that wouldn't bother going to uh, going to a GP. So we've got a, an ultrasound machine, we've got a spirometry, we've got an ECG, we can do blood tests, we can get blood test results from within the van. Um, and so if someone presents to us, let's say with uh, concern for diabetes, we can diagnose them with diabetes within the van within about five, 10 minutes. Three weeks ago, I had a tooth thing. Went in there, they pulled it out, cancer, like, he would never ever have found out and any day soon. For the last two months, one of the busiest men in Australia 
Brings his wife, brings in daughter. I don't know the business man. Brings his wife, then brings his daughter to the vans. He comes and people who unfortunately are in a point in their life where they're at their lowest, they're having a chat with Brad Fittler and they leave that conversation thinking, if I can have a combo with Brad Fittler, what else can I do? Tina Turner, the queen of rock and roll, has died at the age of 83. The legendary American singer who became one of the top recording artists of all time passed away peacefully in Switzerland. One of the ads, Big Zero, uh, Brandy, they were part of the ads, had, uh, had all, the boy, all the boys shirtless and run along the beach and smiling. And it totally changed the landscape of rugby league as in getting women in to support the game. Uh, what's happened now, as you can see, is that's turned into women playing our game. The biggest part, one of the biggest growth parts of our game is the women by far. 20% year on year it's been over the last five years. So and it pretty much goes back to Tina Turner. So while we do our little bit of breathing this morning, I think it's a really good time to uh, think about the past, think about our family, what we're going to do today, think about our family right here. Now we're going to make the most of the day, okay? Foremost, you gotta get a feed into ya and get changed, and then uh, then we'll start rocking, okay? <laughs> Nico, Tyson, kick on. Cam, step up. Teddy, just right up on Freddie's shoulder there. Yep, okay. Eyes on camera in three, two, one, just bring him up. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, good fun being around the boys again. Um, been intense though, all the training sessions have been intense. Tomorrow will probably be one of our hardest sessions to prepare for the game and then we've got um, just a little day and a half off, get back, rest, spend some time with the family and um, then we'll get our family down Sunday and then off we go to Adelaide. When I got offered the job in 2018, I remember a gentleman interviewed me for the first time, he said, you know, how are you going to, what sort of coach are you going to be? And his next question was, how are you going to get that hate? And how are you going to teach the hate? And I said, well, the best way to do it is through love. My big thing at trains, we always look after ourselves first. This is the first time we've asked all the families to come in. Uh, I was so proud of him. He does what he did himself. Um, family, I think family is everything. Um, I think he carries us when he's on the field training. Um, he knows he's doing it for his kids especially. Um, yeah. Say okay, love. <laughs> we'll kick it off guys, um, look this is pretty unique today, as Fred said, the first time we've done a, a family day, uh, it's a great opportunity to have the family here to also present the jerseys for a, a really special moment for each individual, three individuals that are about to live out a dream on Wednesday night, so I'd like to call up to be the Pengai Junior. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. He's player number 304 for the Blues. I'd like to call up his wife, Anna. Um, I know to be a lot of doubts. Um, with getting selected for Origin, all glory and praise to God for the opportunity. And then thank you to Freddie and the staff for believing in him. Um, and to all the boys for making him feel welcome. Yeah, we love you and we're so proud of you and we hope you do the team life. Uh, Kelsey, his partner, play number 305, is origin ready, uh, Hudson Young. Here we go. I wanted to say how proud I am of Freddie and I've really come such a long way and I'm just so grateful for the opportunity that he has right now. Thank you. You know, I want to thank Freddie and the and coaching staff as well for giving me this opportunity um, and having faith and trust in me that I'll go out and um, do the job proud. And uh, thanks to you boys for taking me into such a great team and uh, make me feel welcome and uh, how I do to stay proud. Yeah. <laughs> the last of our debutantes, 
Aaron Booth, would you like to come up, mate? Thanks for coming. Big run for you. <laughs> Player number 306, Nico Hines. 306, it's... Um, I run Nico the best in the national league. I'm just so proud of you. I don't know everyone else is. I don't know all these players will be super keen to play with you this week. And, uh, yeah, I'm just proud, man. So I appreciate you letting me do this and be here. So happy and thanks everyone for looking after the man. So I'm getting it, man. Boothy, I um, really wanted to get Boothy to present this for me because I you know the other guys in my family have gave me other jerseys, but he's a big reason why I'm standing here today and get to play in this jersey. He's been there by my side forever. So, yeah, hopefully I can um, do my family, my culture, and everyone here proud. And thanks everyone for coming out today. And I can't wait to play alongside all the boys, especially the debutants as well. So, congratulations and thanks for everything, family. And yeah, I mean, I'm obviously. Didn't want to come here today, but she's a special reason why I'm here. So, and she'll be watching this. So, I love you, Mum, and thanks for everything. So, I just can't wait to do my state proud. And thanks for welcoming in, boys. I appreciate it. And last year, I said I wanted one number smaller, and I've got it. Top plays when I made 50 mil. M got paid when I made 60 mil. Dre got paid when I made 80 mil. Jimmy got paid. I ain't even got the rap now. Life is made. Said I ain't even got the rap. I'm filthy, I'm man. Straight to the bank with this.